Just Cause 4 continues the franchise's history with amazing easter eggs, some of the best in the entire gaming industry in fact. Many of these easter eggs reference popular culture, or take the form of hidden vehicles or unique weapons. I've done my best to find all the easter eggs found in the game, so sit back and relax as I show you hopefully all the easter eggs in Just Cause 4. There's nothing more amusing than a unique weapon in Just Cause to help raise the stakes in gameplay. This particular weapon is music to my ears, but while it's good for making a laughing stock out of the NPCs, try not to milk it. The army force is our own people too, but they're not fighting for a paycheck. Just like the smartest dinosaur of them all, the Thesaurus, this next easter egg is full of dynamite details and references to Jurassic Park. There's not much that will try Sarah top this easter egg. Okay, I'll stop with the puns now. They get old pretty fast, but how do you feel about a bit of slapstick comedy? Turns out, the secret audience in Just Cause 4 absolutely love it. Okay, this easter egg is tiny, but I wanted to squeeze it in. When attaching balloons to enemies, you'll sometimes hear Rico quote the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Fly, you fool! Secret bases are a staple of the cheesy 80s action movies that Just Cause is inspired by. So finding one hidden in the mountain shouldn't be all that surprising, but perhaps the contents of this base will be more enticing to you. Just make sure you come here during the night and bring your space helmet because we're about to take one giant leap.
Perhaps that moon was a little too claustrophobic for you. Well, if you prefer your interstellar bodies a little roomier, then perhaps you prefer this second moon. Indie gaming hit Getting Over It is referenced in this next easter egg. I hate this game, mainly because I suck at it, hence the lack of embellishments on this entry. This easter egg is a homage to a game which is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. Why did I make this? I could have made another silly weapon or pop culture reference. Most people like those, but not everyone's the same. I created this Easter egg for a certain kind of person, to hurt them. Now I know you're most likely watching this Easter egg online where someone else has discovered and recorded it for you like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. Don't worry, that's culture too. From a majestic airship in Just Cause 2 to a sad wreckage in Just Cause 3, the Mile High Club finds a new life in Just Cause 4 as an exclusive mountainside nightclub. Sometimes, finding easter eggs feels like bending over backwards trying to connect non-existent strings. For these origami goats, however, there's been a different type of bending going on. It's long been known that the pen is mightier than the sword, but true masters of combat know that the frying pan is the greatest weapon of them all, up to and including nuclear weapons and orbital death rays. The frying pan will have you covered, especially in Battle Royale, but now additionally in Just Cause 4. Aha's Take On Me music video is an icon of 80s music, and the song itself has had a resurgence thanks to recent meme culture. All that being said, this easter egg in Just Cause 4 is perhaps my favourite easter egg ever.
Also, I know I said no more puns, but... High in the mountains, you can find a touching easter egg in the form of a number of memorials. Now I believe that these are for real people, so if you know who any of them are, then please feel free to leave a comment below and let everyone know. You may have heard people say that you're compensating for something if you drive a really big car. So I'm now wondering what they'd say about this secret vehicle that you'll be able to find in Just Cause 4. We've covered all the major easter eggs from Just Cause 4 now, but there are a couple of smaller easter eggs that I didn't want to miss out. So it's time for my favourite part of these videos, the lightning round. One of the models for shop fronts features two shops, one of which features the word Hermanos and the other features Polos. When put together we get Los Polos Hermanos, which you may recognise as the fictional chicken shop from Breaking Bad. Car license plates are often little references in themselves. Some will say Avalanche, others say Square Enix, and a few will say Just Cause 4. There's also one that says Russell, perhaps referencing a developer, and one that seems to say Trinity, perhaps referencing Square Enix's other franchise, Tomb Raider. Panal Sonic is likely a play on Panasonic, but Panal is also the location of Just Cause 2. Littered across the map, you can find colourful llamas. These are potentially a reference to the llamas popularised by the little-known game, Fortnite. This dancing guy who changes colours is perhaps a reference to the dancing green guy from Just Cause 3, who was himself a reference to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Also, making a return as the DJ in the Mile High Club is Bolo Santos E from Just Cause 2 and 3. I also thought it was worth a mention that the screens that you can see in the new Mile High Club are actually directly taken from Just Cause 2. So, there we have it. That was hopefully all the Easter eggs in Just Cause 4. If there are any that I've missed or any more discovered after this video's release, then feel free to leave a comment below and let everyone know. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, back me on Patreon, subscribe to my second channel, sell me your soul and your firstborn child. I've been the Royal Gorilla, over and out.